you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole, and we are here today with a YouTube membership request from our good friend Matthias. He is bringing Taria back down the rabbit hole with Mien Her Marquis from her Beauty and the Beat project. Thank you so much, Matthias, for bringing Taria back down the rabbit hole. This is from Mien Her Marquis her beauty and the beat project that she does with her original drummer, Mike. So it's going to be Taria, a drummer, and then an entire orchestra to sing this amazing operatic song, uh, Mien Her Marquis. Sorry, I stumbled on that one. Um, if you guys love hearing Taria come down the rabbit hole, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new Taria coming down the rabbit hole. And thank you so much, M Matthias. Matthias. I almost said Mike, but that's the drummer. I, um, thank you so much, Matthias, for letting us know a little bit in the write-up that this is a operatic for sopranos done with like soft, quick voices. But we all know Taria has such a big vocal. She has a, that dark tone to her. So you let us know that this was even difficult for Taria with her training which is opposite of operatic training being with choir, church choir and chamber style music, as well as her very heavy metal background. Mm -hmm. So but without further ado, let's get into it. I really love her old drummer, Mike. I'm pretty sure that's the guy with the mohawk there. If I, I think if so. I'm taking a guess there. So we're very excited for this. Beauty in the Beat. Let's see what this project's all about. <laughs> You good? Yep. Okay. It skipped on us. It did. My heart, my key, I'm on the sea. I just want to get a quick little, um, I'm just so surprised by how she can go this far with her range of her operatic voice. I knew she could do uh, amazingness, but I didn't think she had that much control. I've just never seen it this way coming out. And this song's bringing out so much of just her personality. Like even when she started, it almost seemed like, okay, we're starting. Like I'm going to start singing now. Like it almost seemed like she was rushed by them, but she was more playing. Like she just has such a fun style, how she performs. Yeah, and like I, this is such a fun style, but also like with watching her singing and knowing a bit about her her vocal training, she is keeping herself quite rigid to be able to hit those notes so perfectly and so fully. Mm -hmm. Because operatic is such a a more rigid, um, in a sense, more difficult style than just singing because it has to have all of that control. So seeing her with her breath control and everything is amazing. 
this saw we did quickly do a quick google search to see what mien her marquis was and it um, loosely translates into adele's laughing song and now that i'm listening to the song and hearing that um that yeah. is like a laughing kind of that's where the play i was that's giving. where that play is so it's yeah. like that laughter and it's mm -hmm. it's really fun i'm loving the choir and everything behind her but i love that she has this full darker tone singing this like quick soprano mm -hmm. soprano song because it's, it's it adds like so much depth to it and i can see why this is such a difficult song for people to sing because of how jumpy it is yeah and um that's not a musical term so i'm sorry but um i really also loved how when the choir came in they were doing their bit and then the violinist just started picking the violin well, yeah, yeah yeah and now I, I think it's going to transition into something but this is this is amazing we love her classical side love the classical side <laughs> Why I think I was so shocked by this one is we had just watched Phantom of the Opera with her and Marco. And at the end, yeah. it seemed like it was very improvised. So she wasn't quite ready for some of those really high notes at the end, the way it was coming out so clean in this. Mm -hmm. And then the chemistry with the composer and her, like where he was like, zing, to stop. And she was just so on point there. And like, she wasn't even looking at him. So like just how much um, like rehearsal or something went into this yes. or just straight up chemistry that they have. It was really shining so for me like that's what i envisioned with the phantom of the opera like just to have all that so that was really cool to see where she's at i don't know when this is performed but like the name for beauty and the beat i think that's perfect for those Beautiful. two with with this project and like i can't wait to see more what they do yeah this was phenomenal like absolutely phenomenal i loved listening to taria in this i love her operatic i love her um classical side because she has such a gorgeous full voice that i think that sometimes when she's singing in a lot of the metal she isn't getting that full exposure yeah but th that's also because you're singing in different styles singing chamber music versus metal music versus operatic music versus symphonic music it's all going to have a different um, way that you use your vocal muscles mm -hmm. so like this is a way that just like shows her strength so beautifully for me that i just love and i love operas i love um, orchestras so this is everything that is my history and that right. is what i love and i think that's why i'm so drawn into taria in this setting 
Mm -hmm. specifically because this is my high school. Right. Right? This is what I was doing. You're get, getting some nostalgia feels from I this one? I get this nostalgia feels from this one. And you think it's in German? I, I'm 98% sure that she's singing in German. Right. And to be able to sing, like, operatic in another language, oh it, it takes so much um, just just genius and, 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 and practice and, like, yeah, this is this is phenomenal, and and I just I can't give it enough praise because I love it so no, much. No kidding, and I I didn't see Mike performing there with the drums at all or I anything didn't like see that. Him, I didn't. I I don't think I heard him either. If I'm being honest, I don't know if he was like necessarily needed for this one or anything. That would have been cool to see him definitely for another Beauty in the yeah. Beat. I would love to love to see him performing because just his style of performing is amazing. But just as an opera itself, like. Was, this was operatic, wasn't this? Not? Yeah, this yeah, is like, opera 100%. This, this is like as operatic as I've ever heard her. And she keeps pushing the boundaries to what mm -hmm. I think she can do. She can join anything. She's she's as X Factor as X Factors come. Yeah, and like hearing her sing that extremely high note there, you can see how difficult that is for her. Yeah, because she has a deeper, darker voice than what um a, a, a light um soprano would have yeah and so like when she was hitting that note like it was just phenomenal to see her range and just how much she opened up to mm -hmm. be able to let that escape and let no that kidding, out right? so like that was phenomenal and she just pushed so many boundaries for herself as well as for singers coming in to be able to like hit those now marks and that bar that she's raised with this yeah, and like I've never wanted to go to an opera compared to now that I do want to after seeing this. Like I, classical music and opera is so much different, and I kind of blend them, them two together. So mm -hmm. it's nice to see the difference. I can see why you like it a lot. I'd love to go to one with you. I think that would be a lot of fun. And I mean, you're the beauty on the beat here. So if you guys want to see more of Beauty and the Beat, please let us know in the comments below. If you had a good time with us, hit that like button, subscribe. If you are new and you want to see more Claria and Mike and everything else in this project, go we're eggs in the rabbit hole now, folks. Thank you so much for bringing this down the rabbit hole. This was amazing. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Thanks again, Matthews. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.